All right, so I've been seeing these um, Pottery Barn terracotta pumpkin dupes all over the internet and social media, and I thought, of course, I have to try one. So I just got in my pumpkin stash and found this old one that I um, wanted to try out. So I started um, first, I didn't think about it, I should have done the stem first, but this one I started painting with the baking soda and paint mixture to create that terracotta look and it's turning out pretty good but we'll do it together on this video and finish it up but after i started i thought oh my gosh i should have formed my stem first these terracotta pumpkins that you see in pottery barn have a very exaggerated stem kind of like this one and so the way that i created it is with air, air dry clay so I'm going to show you really quickly on this one. And I actually let it, I molded it into my pumpkin. I don't know if it'll come off. It's pretty much on there. I am going to put a little bit of mud around here. I'll show you how I'm going to do that because air dry clay does shrink. And so there's going to be that little area. Um, so I might put a little mud there. I might not. I might just paint it and let it be like a stem, but we'll see. All right, so this one, let's go ahead and mold a little stem on. Of course, we'll have to let it dry, but I'll show you how you can do that. And then we'll go back over it once it's dry and paint it all this terracotta. All right, so in a previous video, I talked about air dry clay and how I had not had very good luck storing it. But I had discovered that, you know, even in an airtight container, um, it was still drying out on me. But I discovered that if I put it in an airtight container in the refrigerator, um, it is lasting much longer. And I'm not throwing it out like I was. All right, so I'm just going to work this clay. And I'm using... Iron Orchid Designs Air Dry Clay, which I have available on my website, markethousediy.com. It is $11.99. And I'm just beginning to form. I also did a previous video on how to make these stems. So be sure to check it out on my channel. And I am just making it smaller towards the All right, so one thing, like I said, upon further investigation of these terracotta clay pumpkins, I discovered that they had, because um, they're hand sculpt, I'm guessing they're hand sculpted terracotta. So they have like these. hand sculpted ridges along the stem. All right, so I'm going to I want it very exaggerated to curl over and I'm actually trying to put some hand sculpted look to it, if that makes sense. All right, so now I'm gonna take it. And like I said, you would want to do this before you paint your pumpkin, but I got a little carried away earlier and I just went ahead and started painting and I should have waited all right since this pumpkin stem will be on this pumpkin i am mashing it down so that it fits on there really good 
and shaping it. Here we go. All right, so that's what you would do. You would form your stem out of air dry clay and make sure it has a nice hand sculpted look. I really kind of like the way that one's twisting. And then you really need to let it dry overnight. So I'm going to set my pumpkin aside. I might have to go in and reinforce it with some glue. This one stuck on there and I, did, I don't think I'm going to have to do that. But that one will yet to be seen. Um, it is just a little ledge there, and so I'm going to take a little bit of um, mud and see if I can, just like you would on your sheetrock or your if you're fixing your walls. I'm just trying to disguise that ridge there that was created when I sculpted the clay onto my pumpkin. This will also create a textured look, which will be perfect for the overall finished effect of a terracotta pumpkin. And I am using Dixie Belle Mud in White. Um, you could probably use any color since you're going to paint it. It comes in brown and black, which when you're refinishing furniture, that makes a difference sometimes. But in this project, it really does not. Dixie Belle Mud is another product that I have found if I keep it in the refrigerator, it lasts much longer. And... I think they actually advise that once it's open on many of their tutorial. All right, so I am just sculpting that in so that when we paint it, it'll have a nice textured look and you won't see where I actually attached that stem. All right, so the, for the best results, we are going to let this dry overnight. And then we will start our painting process. Now that my mud has dried, I'm gonna go ahead and put a base coat of terracotta color onto my pumpkin. Now, I'm gonna use a couple of different things. This is just basic folk art paint in the color terracotta. And then this is actually folk art terracotta paint, which has some added texture to it. And we are gonna use both of them. So I've got a dry brush and I'm just going to, this first coat is just to get the color onto my pumpkin. This is not adding the baking soda yet. We are just getting some color, a good base coat on the pumpkin. And I'm gonna go in these cracks with the dark color. And then I'll go in the raised portions of my pumpkin with the lighter color and we'll do some quick blending. Okay, let's 
let's see if I cannot get any paint on my shirt tonight. How about that? So I'm going to do, um, I did our first coat and now I'm moving on to our second. I've got three colors of paint here. I've got folk art Pueblo, folk art Prairie Sunset, and folk art terracotta paint terrazzo tan. So I'm going to put a little bit of baking soda in each one. I'm doing a little bit less this time of equal parts because that seemed to dry out my paint quicker than I wanted, but it did give it lots of good yummy texture. Okay, so now I'm going to stir it up, mix in that um, baking soda. And get in here I had this bottom I needed to do and I'm using several colors just to give it some variation you know how terracotta has several different colors lots of good texture I didn't do the bottom earlier because obviously I had to let it sit and dry. I'm going to mix some of this color in around so it's around on my, all over my pumpkin here and there. All right. Now I'm going to mix in the next color, which is a little bit lighter, with the baking soda, just plain old baking soda, and I'm going to pick up some of that dark. I'm going to put a little bit more of that dark and this is literally just getting it not really blended I mean it is blended but just kind of the colors that you want and covered and lots of good texture so I'm going to that's what that baking soda does. It gives some good texture to your pumpkin and makes it look like that terracotta. All right, so let me just kind of tilt it there just a bit. I'm going to add just a little bit more baking soda, kind of 
kind of thicken that paint up just a little bit. And then I have this last lighter color that I didn't mix in yet. So let me mix some of that in. That looks pretty good, guys. Pretty darn good. Now, I'm going to let this dry. I know it's a process, but so worth it. I'm going to let this dry, and then we are going to come back and do the final steps, I promise. I'm really kind of nervous to do this, but I'm going to try to do it just right here. So the next step is supposed to be, while it's still kind of wet, to take some baking soda and sprinkle it on your pumpkin. Some tutorials will tell you to use flour. And then the next step is to brush it off. sit for just a bit. I think I brushed it all off. I got my plate stuck. messy this is. I guess I could be picking up some from here. I think that's looking pretty good. I do think I'm going to touch up a little bit of paint here and there. 
Maybe. I don't know. We'll see when it dries. I think that's looking pretty good. I don't know, it looks pretty authentic. All right, so I think what I'm gonna do is try a little bit of, um, I've got one more to make. So next up, I'm gonna show you the flower method. Here is my pumpkin that I did with baking soda. And I'm pretty pleased with how it turned out. It looks really good. It looks like hand sculpted terracotta. And um, I don't know, I really like the results. So I followed this tutorial that I watched a couple of them and I did what they said and it looks pretty much like a terracotta pumpkin. So I'm pretty much loving that. So the next thing I was gonna do is try one with flour. So again, I sculpted my whimsical stem out of air dry clay by Iron Orchid Designs. And I am going to, going to glue it down and then I'm gonna mud in the crevices, let the mud dry, and then go back over it with another coat of paint. step. This is the flour method. I didn't know how much flour I needed, so I just got me a good bit. So this is the pumpkin that you saw me paint ready for the flour. So I'm just gonna, this is messy, I'm gonna sprinkle this flour on my pumpkin and I'm gonna rub it in. dusting and getting that flower off. I imagine some of it will kind of come off anyway. But that is the flower method. So I have the um, baking soda method and the flower method. So oh, I see some flower in that stem. So you choose and um, make your own terracotta pumpkin, and I hope you will. If you do, post your pics in the comments. I'd love to see your finished product and know if you changed up any of the steps, if you did anything different. Um, so in this link, I mean, in the description of this video, I will post the links, affiliate links, 
to the products that I used. And if you like this video, follow our channel, subscribe to our channel, Alleyoops um, YouTube channel. Check us out on our website, alleyoops.com, markethousediy.com, and happy crafting.